Series. 12U Little League becomes only second Kenosha team to win state championship. Will play on ESPN Friday. By Mike Ramchek. Ramchek at KennisHanews.com. Six years ago, Bradford graduate Adam Meyer, 44, had the opportunity to coach Kenosha's only Little League state champion. On Friday, he gets to do it again on national TV, and this time has the privilege of coaching his son, Chase. It's a big enough deal that after Friday's state championship win, Meyer has already spent hours on what he calls leg work going through name pronunciation with the TV guys at ESPN. This is only the second time a Little League squad from Kenosha has made it all the way to regionals, and the Boys of Summer will play Friday night in Indianapolis at 6 p.m. on ESPN+. It's a dream come true for Adams players, many of whom have visions of making it all the way to the major league someday. On Friday they will get their first taste of that type of fame and glory, representing Wisconsin and taking on Nebraska. If Kenosha can win the double elimination tournament, it will earn a trip to the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. We've had an amazing experience, Meyer said Tuesday at the Kenosha Sports Complex. Each team member and coach had to fill out a questionnaire already for ESPN. This is the second team from Kenosha to have the opportunity to go to Williamsport. Chase was six when the last guys made it. Once those kids turned 13, I came back and started coaching Chase in machine pitch. I've been coaching this tournament team since they were nine years old. 75% of the roster has been consistent since age nine. Meyer says last Friday's state championship at Kenosha Sports Complex was all about juggling pitching. Kenosha won the state championship 10-3 against West Madison on Friday after winning 10-0 in the semifinals Thursday against Rhinelander. The talented 12-year-olds went 7-0 in the state tournament and a perfect 5-0 in district. We juggled our pitching through pool play so you line up your top pitchers for the championship round, Meyer said. Ben Smet Cooper, Titus Nichter and Nick Falk led us to the championship round, and three other pitchers beyond that. Smet Cooper, Nichter and Falk were nothing short of lights out at state. They combined to pitch 26 one-third innings and only allowed three earned runs. The trio struck out a whopping 62 batters. In the championship game, Kenosha actually fell behind 2-0 and had to fight back. But the boys bounced back with small ball to score five in the next innings and cruise from there. They scored 10 runs with only one home run, which is atypical. At state, Nictor hit five home runs in seven games, Smack Cooper added four and Mallory Meyer, Adams' niece and starting left fielder, smacked two long balls. In the five-inning, 10-0 semifinal victory, Smack Cooper struck out all 15 of the possible outs. Smet Cooper and Nictor followed that up with 18 strikeouts in the title game. Kenosha proved it can battle through adversity too. They fell behind 3-0 in pool play against West Madison where they had to rally for a four-run sixth to win 4-3. Also, Kenosha needed eight innings to beat Glendale 15-12 after an 11-11 tie late in the game. In the game to get to state, the district championship, Kenosha knocked off Burlington 7-5, and Meyer said Burlington is probably the best team they faced in both tournaments. We find ways to win, Meyer said. We can find a way to win regardless, whether we're hitting or not. We've probably played 150 games together, maybe 200 over the last four years. The team never gets down. Our biggest adversity was against Burlington before State, at Burlington. Hostile environment, championship game, we were down 4-0. I don't think we scored until the third. We work to come back and win, 7-5. Hats off to Burlington. They've probably been our best competition. It wasn't fair for one of us to not make state. The 2016-12 U team that won state featured future star athletes like Westosh's Jack Rose and St. Joe's Jacob Oshmus and Andrew Setter. Some of these kids, it will be the pinnacle of their athletic careers, Meyer said. For some, it will be just the start. For Jack Rose, it was just the start. Being on TV is amazing for these kids. I showed them one of the regional games that was on TV, and they were totally geeked. The boys headed to Indianapolis Wednesday, with hopes of winning four or five games and advancing to Little League's grandest stage. If we play our game, throw strikes, play clean defense and we squeak across a couple runs and put pressure on them, we'll do okay, Meyer said. Meyer added that pitch counts are tricky. If Kenosha loses Friday, they have to play Saturday. Any pitcher that throws more than 20 pitchers day one can't pitch day two. But if they win, they get a day off, so a kid can pitch 35 pitches and also pitch in the next game. It's more complicated than you can really explain in a short article, Meyer joked. So you won't see anyone throwing more than 50 pitches day one, otherwise you might one or two games. I'm not trying to win one or two, 
I'm trying to win the whole thing. There is no Wisconsin Little League team that has ever gone to the Little League World Series. Meyer and the Kenosha 12 you are trying to make history. I'm optimistic about our chances, he added. The Kenosha Little League program is great. We have the best facilities around. It's only $150, and we'll get in almost 80 games between summer and fall. The kids play a lot, and they learn a lot. These are the kids of Kenosha. They are phenomenal kids, and they've all bought in. They have the ability to understand what their role is on the team, and that goes a long way. Breakout Box The Kenosha 12U Little League team is only the second Kenosha team ever, 2016, to win the state championship, and the boys will play at the regional championship in Kenosha Friday for a chance to make it to the Little League World Series in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Kenosha, or Wisconsin, will take on Nebraska at 6 p.m. Friday on ESPN+. Here are Kenosha's state results. Kenosha 5, Rhinelander 0, Kenosha 15, Glendale 12, Kenosha 10, Madison Kennedy 0, Kenosha 4, West Madison 3, Kenosha 13, Ashland 5, Kenosha 10, Rhinelander 0, Semifinals, Kenosha 10, West Madison 3, State Championship, Roster, Titus Nichter, Ben Smet Cooper, Nick Falk, Chase Meyer, Brian Portilia, Mallory Meyer, Maxwell Jenkins, Liam O'Connell, Max Payette, Colin St. Martin, Cam Collum, Parker Jezerig, Colin Principe, Manager Adam Meyer, Coach Brian Portilia, Coach Trey Meyer.